Okay, Kaylee, here's your end of the day swing compared with uh, Captain Bell swing. So let's take a look, and here we go. We got a big right step. So that's the right and your left, right, left. And then we moving out. We got those arms down low on our explosion step, which is really good. We're moving through the power stride. If we watch Catherine's left foot on that explosion step, it's toe first. Yours is almost toe first, but we're getting there. As we go through the power stride and get those arms back, we've got good, good, good technique. We're really flying at the ball as we come down. She's got a little more rotation in her in her uh, foot more toward the center than you but but that's okay yours is pretty good we can definitely get more and we will we'll just work on that more as we go into our load you can see her really load down now that's what we're going to be working on as well and with that foot and then with that front foot, it's that right foot, it's the left foot, it's almost parallel to the end line. And you can see yours is pretty straight. Uh, again, watch that, watch that left, I'm sorry, watch the left foot. That left foot comes around, it really opens her up to that setter. Notice how that's almost parallel. That's where we're gonna get that rotation in our core from, anyway. Okay, so that's where yours is right now. We're almost there, we're getting there. And as we go up, notice that arm, that right, that left arm going up, going up. She really gets high, that high elbow. That elbow is way above her head. If you notice on that upward move, that's a little, on that upward move, that elbow, anyway, that elbow gets way above her head there. Notice yours stops. We're gonna get more length on that left elbow here. We want to see that left elbow way up here. Because the more you go up, the more your arms go up, the higher you're gonna ultimately jump. Okay. Um, as we see her moving into her power C position, get that shoulder back. Um, notice her back of her shoulder is really rotating. Yours is coming back as well, but because you're not open to the setter. Um, we don't have as much, but we're getting there. But your power C rotation looks really good, really good. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go through, uh, and she begins to release. Uh, as she brings her core around, she releases into her energy from her core into that ball. Yours is too, but remember, it's just a matter of the setup here. Notice your feet are both Notice your both of your feet are facing directly at that net. And if we go back and look at Kant's, both of her feet are really open to the setter. They're really going that way on that. And that's the difference. It's the only difference we have right now. If we go forward, let's go take a look at where that rotation comes. Take a look at your head snap. Let's look at Kat's head snap. Snap through the ball. She was really driving through the ball. That's just a matter of reps, Kaylee. You're gonna be there because you're already, you're already there, uh, and that's just phenomenal. So hey, uh, love what you're doing, love what I see happening there, and uh, love the fact that, uh, that you're making progress. Talk to you later. Congratulations. And sleep well tonight. Take care. Hi, Jan, Kaylee. I wanted to get this video to you, analysis work one. Uh, we should have a couple more to follow as well. But uniquely on your left, what you'll see is the beginning of the day. And then on your right is after we had done some work on our approach technique. And want to just show you the progress that you've made so far, which is outstanding. Anyway, we're going to get started on our right, on our left. You see your arms going up here we talked about that as a um, as a praying uh, and so on that first step out on this explosion step which is your first left we see your arms going up and back and what that does is kind of raises you up a bit notice you, your back comes up instead of going out 
as we make that first approach um, right here on your foot, because you're so high, you end up going heel to toe on that first step. Okay, uh, and so the, um, as we move through what we call the uh, power stride, uh, we get really nice flexibility on your arm, so that looks really solid. Really like that eyes to the target. Uh, both of those are really good good things. As we plant that lead foot, if we look at that lead foot there, uh, if we notice it, it's going straight to the target. Um, on that right now, it should be open uh, to the setter so that when you bring that power stride foot up, you want to bring that, that's the 45 degree angle we talked about. Um, as you then move forward through the load phase, we look at our load. If here is your head right now, if we look at what we're getting on the load, we can see that's just a little bit, but it looks really, I mean, at least that's, uh, that's some load in your legs. We want to, we're going to work on getting you to about here later on down the road, uh, in terms of your load or the top of your head on your load. As you then go up to swing, you've got great elevation. Uh, you really are, are moving forward. Uh, notice your right arm, I mean your left arm, coming down pretty much right away. And we want that to continue up to the top of your jump. Um, but in any event, um, uh, it's really good for just starting out at 13, so that's really good. Uh, I like the one motion on your right arm. As you can see, you lift it up and bring it back. That's beautiful. That is textbook, Kaylee. Uh, in terms of where we want to ultimately be. So great work on that. Uh, and then as we move forward through the swing, we can see we've getting some ab crunch. Okay. So, <clears throat> and then as you finish, we see our eye uh, sequence, our eyes and our head, neck is still back and is looking forward. Um, we have very little load in our legs. So where we're trying to get to that power C motion that we talked about earlier. Um, we're going to get a little more load in our legs uh, for that to get you there. Okay. And so, and then that's when you finish, you land on two feet, which is great. Really like that. Now, if we take a look at that, we go back here uh, to the beginning and now we're going to go over here to um, our approach. We had you moving on your approach. This is when we ran the rip, um, but we wanted to get is after uh, oh, about 45 minutes worth of work, let's take a look at where we ended up. If we see that uh, that footwork going out, that big right step, and then we're going to go ahead and take our, our explosion step on our first. If we notice our, your arms now are beautifully, they're way below uh, where they are here. So we really like that adjustment that you made in terms of your arm stride. Uh, as we continue to go forward, we notice that we've got, notice because your arms didn't go straight up, notice just the difference in your in your back posture um, uh, let me go there versus there in terms of um, in terms of how low you stay. So that's a really good adjustment that you made uh, there because uh, now we can go out instead of up. You can see it. I mean, it's detail. Uh, as you go forward through your power stride, um, if we come come here to our power stride, we still we get a really good stretch on our arms. So really like that. And we did that same thing here. We got really good stretch on that those arms. As a matter of fact, we got that one even a little further back. If you can see that right arm is is even more up here. Uh, but in any event, uh, the other things that you did were amazing, and we're going to watch that. So as we go into our load phase here, um, as you can see, we want we still want those feet open to the setter, but as we go into our load phase, it can go up through our 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 ball strike phase. If we get we got that those arms going up, up and back, and notice now uh, the difference between our legs here and the difference to where you got here. That means that you're pulling that arm back. And you're really getting that core adjustment. That's just beautiful in terms of what, in terms of where you're going. Um, as that arm then comes forward, you're releasing your energy from your legs through to that ball, and then watch that head snap. 
just textbook. Watch that head snap again. Just textbook, just like our, our model. And if we see that, here we go again. Um, that's just really beautiful, Kayla. You did a really good job. And we come down and we land on those two feet. So you've just accelerated t totally um, the things that we were working on. And you did all that in just one day, so I'm really, really proud of you. There's so much more to do, but when we continue to get open and rotating and we continue to get let ourselves ready to go, uh, you are going to be great. All right, uh, more to come later, but uh, I wanted to get you that and get you the scenario. <laughs> Despite the light.